All right, guys, Cutterboy32 here checking it out. We're sitting in the Freedom Office. It is uh, Sunday morning. He is risen. Today is Easter Sunday. So cheers to all you guys out there who practice that thing called Christianity. Uh, what are we doing here? Getting ready to go on vacation, but I thought I wanted to go ahead and push this out before we got on the road or on the airport or on the airplane, <laughs> whatever it is. Uh, Ms. Bonnie Watson Coleman from the state of New Jersey. You know, anybody who's bringing the uh, law up from the state of New Jersey to a federal level, well, she's got to be a real winner. <laughs> In any case, uh, and it's not a laughing matter, I'm sorry, but HR 1207 to require face-to-face -face purchases of ammunition, to require licensing of ammunition dealers, and to require reporting regarding bulk purchases of ammunition. Now, let's go ahead and get into the bulk of this thing. I'm actually reading from the bill itself. Uh, a limit on shipping and transporting of ammunition in the matter preceding subparagraph or ship transport ammunition or any firearm. La, 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 la. Let's just get into it. Here we go. Each licensee shall prepare a report of multiple sales or other dispositions whenever the licensee sells or otherwise disposes of at one time or during any five consecutive business days more than 1,000 rounds of ammunition to an unlicensed person. So if you're not a licensed dealer and you purchase more than 1,000 rounds, which let's just be honest with you, these days is kind of idiotic because you got to spend $1,000 to get that. Uh, but in the olden days, 1,000 rounds wasn't a big deal. I mean, you get 1,000 rounds of 5.56 for uh, 300 bucks delivered to your door. No, <laughs> whatever. The report shall be prepared on a form specified by the Attorney General and forwarded to the office specified thereon and to the Department of State Police or State Law Enforcement Agency of the State or Local Law Enforcement Agency of the local jurisdiction, Jesus, Lord have mercy, in which the sale or other disposition took place not later than the close of business on the day that the multiple sale or disposition occurs. Well, what they're doing here, let's just explain it. Um, they're trying to make it harder for you to obtain ammunition. You have to do it in face. You just can't do it online. So, uh, yeah, so the days of calling PSA up or ordering online from uh, Midway USA, this lady is trying to destroy for you because she feels like you, a firearm owner, all right, you are, are a potential criminal. And if you're buying more than a 1,000 rounds, well, you're definitely going to be a criminal because they just can't have that. You're not to be trusted with a firearm. That's the whole thing about this deal. Guys, this is disgusting. This uh, person, Bonnie Watson Coleman, first of all, from the state of New Jersey, they should not be allowed to make federal law just because they are from the state of New Jersey. It's absolutely disgusting. Um, but can you imagine what's getting ready to happen in the matter of preceding subparagraph and inserting or to ship transport any ammunition, any... What they're trying to do is kill the online business. You've got the deal where they're trying to go after the 80%, anything that's ordered on online, and they're considering uh, just anything that you can put together, like the stuff back there, uh, they're considering that to be a ghost gun. And when you actually do have to go in and you have to fill out a 4473 for the lower receiver part, the actual you know, serial number part, they're considering that as a, uh, a ghost gun when you put it together. It's not just the 80% lowers, guys. They're trying to kill the online business. And this is going to be, have a huge effect on us as you know enthusiasts of firearms more than anything. It's absolutely disgusting. And now this is it. But the thing is, <laughs> people always talk about, you know, uh, there are reasonable legislation. It's reasonable. This is not reasonable. This is not reasonable by any means. It's absolutely disgusting. Uh, but when they are sitting there trying to come up with anything and everything they can to destroy our community, and they sit there and wonder why we're upset, this is the part that absolutely destroys me. Ugh. I was up late last night thinking about this. Matter of fact, I need to have a cup of coffee. Uh, I haven't had my coffee this morning. Mm. But in any case, what we're going to do, going on vacation, I'm going to take a couple days off, and uh, it's been a year and a half since I've had any kind of vacation, but what we're going to do is I'm going to do some uh, reporting from there, uh, Optics Week. We've got a lot of videos coming out on optics, anything from EOTech, Holosun, Primary Arms, uh, uh, Trigicon. It's going to be fun, a lot of fun, but let me know what your thoughts are down below on this deal, man. Thanks very much for guys bringing it to my attention, HR127. 
or 1207. And there's some stuff that's going on in Illinois. We're going to jump on that while we're gone too. But in any case, uh, somebody trying to uh, prevent you from buying ammunition online. Who are the co-sponsors of this thing? Let's see. I bet they're all Democrats. Democrat, Democrat, Democrat. Yeah. Wow. All Democrats. Hmm. With that being said, God bless America. God bless his men, women in uniform 24 seven for our freedom. Cause freedom is not free. I'm talking about the men and women in uniform who are going to be delivering our mail along with our ammo, because this is BS. Good boy 32. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe and have already done. So I am out of here and I am going to an area where the waters are blue. It's going to be fun. Y'all be good. Peace.